Hey guys, I'm Vinny from Fuel Tech USA. I'm Cameron, and uh, today we've got a really cool video for you about connecting to your ECU via a Wi-Fi connection. Now that everybody's getting their ECUs, uh, it's gonna be an important thing for you guys to know how to connect to it. We have a few different ways. Um, if you notice, we have a power cable here with like a 20 watt charging brick for, I don't know, cell phone or something like that. Or we can also use a power brick um, I don't know how many of you have a super giant power brick like this, so we're gonna use the cell phone charger method today. There is USB ports on the front and the back. The back is the one that we're gonna use to connect this to. Um, also, if you're doing this in your car with your battery and everything on your car, you're just gonna power up the vehicle and it's gonna power on for you. You don't have to do this. This is more of the I'm doing it on my dinner table or bench method. So uh, Vinny, you wanna play yeah, this sure. up? Uh, just remember, this works for the 700 uh, 12 inch, also on the 7 inch, so the process will be the same. All the connection, everything works for uh, either model, model you, have, you might have. Um, while he's doing that, also the USB port on the front in the corner over here uh, is there for you to physically connect with a cable if you want to. Uh, we did that because the new ECUs are actually the bezel, like the little eyebrow here, comes off and you can even flush mount it into your dashboard trying to stick your arms up behind the dash and stuff to plug things in is kind of a pain in the butt. So we made it easier for you to physically connect with a cable between your laptop and the ECU. All of your communication when you're doing cable connection will be done through that port, not the one in the back. The back one is more for powering it up and those sorts of things. Um, but let's get to what this video is about, Wi-Fi connection, right? So yeah. that's a new thing for the 700 or Vision platform, if you want to call it that. Um, where we can connect to the ECU via Wi-Fi, no wires, way easier than even plugging a USB port into the front of the unit. Um, and there's a, that's a new feature for us, and we're excited to be able to share that stuff with you. Yeah, especially because uh, when you're at the track, on your trailer, you got the Starlink, you got some internet, internet connection, the Wi-Fi will be for sure the easiest way to do it. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. And, and also um, there's a video that we had with driving the car back into the uh, pits and right. already viewing a data log because we had internet connection. Yeah. So. so right now we're sitting here on the dashboard. We need to make sure this uh, ECU is connected on the same network as the laptop. So the laptop is already on Wi-Fi. I'm gonna add the ECU to the connection to the, I'm gonna connect the 700 to the Wi-Fi right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. There are two different ways to do it. Either uh, if you're sitting on the dashboard, you can come here on the, um, on the left side and you can hold the Wi-Fi button and it'll take you directly to the Wi-Fi screen. Another option, if you're in the same uh, dashboard, you go again on the, on the left column here and then you see all the menus, go to your VCU and then Wi-Fi option. So right now, this ECU is connected to the FuelTech uh, network. We're gonna use the FT Education Network right now, and then we're gonna add the password and it will connect to the network. Okay, now we just got connected to the FT Education uh, Network, and so is the laptop, right? Uh, yes, the laptop is also connected to the same internet connection. One of the cool things about this is I can still go on the internet and Google something or whatever right. if I need to. Um, you can also see here on the screen uh, the top network lit up in green shows that we are connected to the same network. So now it's on me. I have to jump into the software here and uh, see if we can find our ECU on our network, right? Uh, just, I would just like to add uh, another option is do access point where the ECU and the laptop are going to be in on just... Their, on their own network. It's like a exactly. cell phone hotspot, if you want to call it that. That situation you will not still be able to browse the internet, but you will be connected to your ECU. So if you're in a situation where you don't actually have internet, like your trailer doesn't have internet or something, that's the method you would use. But today we're just gonna do uh, using the same Wi-Fi network. So we still have full usability of our laptop with the internet, as well as being connected to our ECU at the same time. Yeah. Um, so over here on the software, we can go up to the top of our screen and click select VCU. Add a new VCU I have not connected to this ECU before. We're going to add a new device, and you can see that we have number 13 here, FT713. I'm going to click on that. And that's going to ask for a code where you have come on the ECU and click on this button right here. It's going to have this code that's going to uh, last for like 30 seconds approximately. 
And so, then Cameron just add that to the yeah, laptop. Yeah, let me type that in here. Two, four, seven, two, six, five. Confirm. And it says device connected successfully and connection is complete. So we yeah. are now connected to our FT700 Plus. Right. Now we can uh, talk to the ECU on the computer, get the maps, tunes, logs, everything. Write the ECU, read the ECU. Um, all of the normal stuff that you would usually be able to do with a USB cable is now wireless. Right. All right, so now that we're connected to our ECU here, I'm gonna go over and actually take a map that's on this ECU and see what it says. I have no idea what tune file is in this ECU right now. Let's so find out. Let's see what we're, what we're working on. Ah, we got several of them, bunch of maps in here. Um, so let's do this one. I'm gonna click on that. Now we have to download that map so that I can actually pull it into my laptop. And you can see in the bottom corner it's loading, it says download is finished. And now I can actually go to, I don't know, a fuel table for example, and I can scroll around, move around on my fuel table, I can look at my other option, battery compensation tables and whatever I want to adjust, um, I can adjust that stuff now. And let's say I made a change. I don't know, we're gonna take this number and we're gonna make it bigger right here. And then I can say, I wanna save that. I can write to VCU, write map. And you can see over there on the screen that we are writing, no wires, we're still wireless. Yep. Um, and our, our change has been confirmed and now we have a different battery offset value for our injectors on Whatever, whatever tune files in the ECU. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to write the ECU. There's a couple options here that we're going to go over. So let's go up to the top here, write ECU. We have write the map, write the map and set active, override current map, or we can just cancel the whole deal, right? Yeah, so, so the first option, write map, you're just going to write the map to the ECU. It's not going to be active. So it's going to be storage, but you have to go there and make it active if you want. Right and set as active is whatever map was on the ECU, even though I have a different one open here, I changed something on it, I'm writing it to the ECU, that is now gonna be the one that we are running on the ECU. Um, make sure that when you're doing this that you don't take one of your other maps that's for maybe another vehicle and write it into the wrong vehicle. One of the advantages of using this button is because it's gonna uh, write a copy of what you have. So you still have the previous one, sure. you write a copy and make that active. Uh, the other option, which is override, that for sure it's going to override on top of the one that you read. So make sure when you're writing that thing, it's not going to override something that you're, you yeah, need. Yeah, so for yeah. example, you only had one map here before. You have a different one that uh, is on here. If you override that, it's going to wipe the old one and put the new one, and you're going to lose the other one unless you have it saved somewhere else. Right, but that's a good option when you don't, have, don't want to like storage a lot of maps. So you're working just with one, you read, you change and write. So that's gonna be just one file on the ECU. Okay. Um, and then also we have cancel, obviously. Oh, I didn't mean to click on that button. I don't wanna write this file to the ECU and go make other changes or something like that. Right, but right now that we change something on the map, you can override or make so, it active, so yeah. Yeah, so let's make this one the map that we're running. I'm gonna override it completely. I'm gonna click yes. Uh, it was giving me a warning saying all unsaved changes are going to all right, so as you guys can see, before our dashboard looked different, right? So I took a file that was not being ran on the ECU and I wrote it to the ECU and you can see it change before your eyes. This is a different dashboard from when we started with um, because I overwrote the file, right? I forced it in there and the old file is now no longer being active on the ECU. Yeah, but I can go there and make it active if I want. So this is the, the tune that Cameron uh, read before and the one that we were using before it was this new map here. So yeah, let's make it active again. Okay. okay, so as you guys can see, I wrote a file that was not active and now it is active and our dashboard changed. That kind of just shows you right before your eyes, we have a completely different tune file, dashboard layout, everything. Um, but if we wanna go back to the other one that we had on there, how do we do that? Yeah, we can do over the screen. So you come, come over here, it's gonna pop up the left column here, file, and the map that we were using before, it was a uh, new map three. So I just go there, make active, and then go back to the dashboard. And it was just like before. Simple as that, right? Right. Easy peasy. Yeah, so uh, I think the whole Wi-Fi connection is like super easy. 
uh, we did like a step by step so you guys can like follow the same and achieve the same results and uh, just it's gonna be like a common thing going down the track a race car or you can play with the bench so it's yeah and you can see throughout this video we've gone back and forth between doing something on the ECU physically with a nice big new screen or you can do it with your laptop through Wi-Fi if you want to either way works one way you can be sitting in your trailer with your air conditioning the other way you can be sitting in the race car make a change both of them do the same thing um, this one's just way cool just because i can be you know chilling in the air conditioning making yeah. changes and stuff like that so yeah hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned because we're going to have much more videos because we're going to have many more videos talking about the ecu all the features everything how it works step by step so you guys can uh, be aware of all the change and uh, use your ECU much easier. All right, see you guys. Yeah, I'll see you.